This video is going to be about recording a speed paint and the steps required to do that. I use Krita for painting, OBS for recording, and Lightworks for editing. You can use other software than these, but this video will be specifically about how to use those software. Some of the skills should be carried over can be carried over to other software though. This video will show how to set up OBS so that you can record your painting software and set it up so that it records it as a time lapse. It will also show creating a project in Lightworks and editing all the clips together, adding music, exporting that file, and uploading it to YouTube. In order to record a speed paint, there's a few things you need to do. The first thing you need to do is set up OBS to capture your painting software. You do this by creating a scene then go to Sources and do Window Capture. And once you've created your Window Capture, you want to select your window, and the window you want to select is going to be your painting software, in this case, Krita. Now you should have your painting software on the display. The second thing you need to do is change the frame weight rate that OBS records at. When you're recording a speed painting, you only want to record one or two frames a second instead of the usual 30 or 60. That way, when you play it back at 30 or 60 frames per second, the video is sped up. So to do this in OBS, you go to Settings, you go to Video, and here you can change the frame rate. If you're recording a short video, you might want to do two or three for your frame rate. Because I'm going to be recording a very long painting, I'm just going to go ahead and set it to one. And once you're done, you can hit Apply or OK. Once you've got OBS set up, you're ready to start painting. Once you have finished your painting and have all your video files, you need to open up your video editing software. For this video, I will be using Lightworks. Once you've opened your editor, the first thing you need to do is create your project and give it a name. You also need to select a frame rate for the project. Depending on how fast you recorded it and how longer video that you recorded was depends on how fast the frame rate needs to be for your project. As a rule of thumb, the longer your original painting, the higher the frame rate you want to put the project to be. I chose 60 because my painting was 10 hours long. The next thing you need to do is go collect all of the video files that you recorded while painting your picture. Now, all of these steps from here on will differ depending on which video editor you're using, but most of them will have the same basic idea. You select all your videos and you can import them into your project. You also want to go and get your final PNG image that you exported from Krita and go ahead and add that to the project too. While you're at it, go ahead and grab some music files too. Next, you're going to take all the videos you added to your project and drag them on to the editor. And go, well, if you've numbered your videos while you when you recorded them, it'll be easy to put them back in the right order. Also want to add your final image to the end of the video. You can then go and resize the image to change how long the, the image is displayed for. And while you're at it, go ahead and add a transition between the video and your final still image. Next, you're going to want to add music to your video. So go ahead and drag the music files you added to your project and just drag them onto the timeline. You want to keep adding music files until you reach the end of the video and the last one that hangs over just kind of cut the audio down until the audio fits. You can also add a transition to have the music slowly fade out at the end of it. For Lightworks, it, you can do this by just holding shift and clicking on the audio and just kind of dragging down the corner of the audio. You may also want to add an introduction to your video. I do this by adding an, another painting of mine to the front so I can put a title screen 
and then adding a little audio clip below it. And then the video can transition to the rest of the painting. Same thing with the end of the video. You can go ahead and add a little different audio clip to mark the end of the video. And then next you want to add our titles to the different sections of the video. I go ahead and in Lightworks just add the title effect and set one for the title of the painting and set another for my name. You can just cha edit the text and then drag them around to where you'd like on the screen. I also add text to the end card and just give a uh, thanks for watching is what I usually add. The last thing to do in the video editor is to export the video. I just go ahead and leave everything on the default settings. And give the file a name. And once you're done, the video should start exporting. And it might, this might take a few minutes. Once your video is finished exporting, you need to upload it to YouTube. So go ahead and go to YouTube and click on Upload Video. And you'll select your video file. And then you will now have the YouTube Upload Editor. Go ahead and give your video a name. And go ahead and fill out the description add in cards to the video. YouTube does this automatically, but you may want to edit where they're shown. Go ahead and watch the video and the viewer to make sure everything's where you want it. Next, you'll want to give your video a thumbnail. So you go down to the thumbnail section and you can add a file. Now this file has to be under two megabytes. Usually I just use the image that I've painted, but you'll probably have to edit that vi image in another image editor to shrink it down to 2 megabytes. You also want to make sure that when you upload your video, that your video is set to public. And then hit publish. Your video is now uploaded for everyone to watch and enjoy. I'd go ahead and give it a watch yourself just to make sure that there's nothing wrong with it and nothing you need to change. So there you go. You can now record, edit, and upload your own speed paint videos for yourself. Thanks for watching.